Welcome to my monthly pick a card tarot reading. I have three decks to choose from today. I have the Rider Waite, I have the Fantastic Menagerie, and I have the Happy Tarot. So choose your deck and go to the comments and you'll see the timestamp and go to the timestamp in the video for the deck that you choose. And that's the reading for you. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, let's get started with these monthly readings. We're going to start with the Rider Waite deck. We're going to get these cards shuffled up. I hope everyone is having a beautiful month. There's all kinds of wonderful things happening this season. And it's just a wonderful time to get outside and enjoy the month. So let's see what these cards have to say about what is coming your way. Oh, somebody may be moving. Somebody may be moving this month. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if you have to change your house a little bit. Uh, let's see here. There's also, it seems as if you may be kind of committed to somebody who is not really um, twisting your knobs. I, I guess that's kind of a funny way to say that you may be kind of stuck in some sort of a situation. Now you get this queen of, of swords death card beneath you, which makes me wonder what is going on with you. The queen of swords is, is kind of upset about something and, and wanting things to be a different way. And the death card is, um, possibly the queen of swords even calling something off, you know, saying, no, I don't want this in my life and pushing something away. And so sometimes the queen of swords can be somebody that has a lot of demands on her person. And she may be saying, hey, if you're not acting uh, this specific way, then I'm going to cut you off. So I kind of wonder what is going on in your love life because somebody may really be pissing you off. So you get this devil and this two of swords, or I'm sorry, two of wands in the past. And so the devil can sometimes be some sort of a, of a passionate experience, but it can also be an obsession, like an unhealthy obsession. And the two of wands is considering your life and like, what do you have and what can you have? And so if I were to look at the two of wands and this devil together, I would say that that you're talking to someone who maybe likes you for your body, but is not all around um, giving you you know, they're, they're not completely respecting you. And so you may be giving yourself uh, over to someone who isn't totally respecting you, I think is, is what that means. And, and I think this queen of swords is, you know, it, and you're telling this person, Hey, respect me, motherfucker. And, um, and so, but I just don't know if they are going to. Now you get this page of wands Knight of Pentacles. So the Page of Wands is, mm, you know, this can this can almost even be like a friends with benefits situation. Oh, I don't like this at all because I mean, with this with this devil, you know, like thinking, should I sleep with this person? Should I continue to sleep with this person, even though they aren't like really being there for me? And so I see you having like this friends with benefits type of situation, hanging out with this person. Person. But then I see this person being very distant. So you may hear from them occasionally, but they're going to be gone most of the time. And so, yeah, this is, you know, this can even be sexting with someone and then, it, and then trying to meet up with them and they ghost or something it can be kind of a, I would be very careful with who you're talking to because there just really may be some sort of a snake. But it seems like you know it, you know, you know it. 
you know it. And, uh, and so you do get, you know, you, you hope that obviously there is going to be some sort of love. And uh, this is, this is kind of comforting. This looks like, well, this is like hanging out with friends, but this is also like dating. This is meeting somebody that you go out on a casual date with. And it seems as if you, you, there's like some money stuff that is happening this month as you get some money to take care of some things at home, like something, something in your house may break down, but it seems as if you'll have this extra money to take care of it. And so you have like money in the house, somebody from, from your family may also give you some money. I, uh, it, you know, there's there's going to be some time spent at home, some time spent with the family, and possibly at the end of the month, um, you might be talking to this new person and starting to go out on some casual dates, just like, you know, slowly meeting people. I don't know if you're over at their house yet or if they're at your house yet. But I think somebody um, interesting may come along and start talking to you in a very romantic way. You get this temperance card. Temperance is always nice. It's pulling yourself together and, and, and it's rallying after, you know, after, after a hard time, it's, it's getting that breath of fresh air. And it, so this is also health and calming down and finding, you know, finding patience. And so, and so, you know, I don't know, this guy may be kind of stringing you along at the beginning of the month, but then you calm down and things start going your way. But it seems as if you are hoping for this person to love you, you know, and, and I think ultimately you want the type of person that's going to be good to you and you are just willing to settle for these pieces of shit. But when you settle for them, you know, they just frustrate you and they anger you and then you settle and you give away what's precious to you for people that just don't come around very often. And so I see that that you want some love. You should check out my link tree. I'll leave uh, my link tree. I have a wonderful love manifestation exercise. You can check out my book, do the love manifestation exercises in that and encourage new love to come because these guys, I'm sorry, they just, they just aren't doing it for me. I just see you like just, you know, dealing with someone who is just really not good. They just don't treat you with respect, you know, and I think you deserve so much more respect. Um, I'm, I'm kind of curious about this dating at the end of the month and who this person might be. And it, so let me see here. I'm just kind of pulling some extra cards. Yeah, you may meet somebody who is very, they like sports. They they like to, you know, they, they like to be outdoors. They like to be athletic. And, um, and I think you, you kind of talk to them and see what happens. You might be a little slow to get back to them. And, um, but yeah, stay, stay tuned. Don't, don't worry about the end. Always keep looking towards the future. And, uh, because this guy that, that you're dealing with, you're eventually going to walk away and go for somebody that is just so much more secure and stable. So I just think that this new person that is coming at the end of the month, they're, yeah, they're, they're like into the outdoors. They're into exercise and stuff like that. They're very funny, very funny, charismatic person. Okay. So that is that for the Rider Waite group. Now we have the fantastic Menagerie Tarot. So let me go and take a sip of water and then we can shuffle these cards and see what they have in store. For this month. See what kind of reading these cards have for us. So let's see here. I think that's good. I love this deck. 
Ten of Swords. Ooh, I don't like this alligator. This alligator, Ten of Swords, something ending. Something ending with somebody really negative. The Knight of Swords is kind of a jerk. The Knight of Swords is somebody, somebody may have been very cruel and very mean to you that you have hoped for the best from. Somebody that, that you wanted so much good stuff to come from has really treated you badly. Somebody's treated you very badly. And right now, this is the Eight of Cups, which is walking away. This person may be walking away from you and you may be walking away from them. Here's this death card in the past. And so this is, uh, yeah, Ten of Swords death card. You know, this is actually maybe even to celebrate because this person seems like it's good riddance. The Knight of Swords is the worst guy in the deck. Literally, you guys, the Knight of Swords is awful. And it seems like he is falling out of the way. But I love this Ace of Cups in the near future. That's it's this Knight of Swords is getting out of the way to make room for new love. Mm, Page of Wands seems like some sort of a friend. Somebody that treats you really respectfully and, and like a friend. Oh, look at this. So this person leaving your life is good fortune. This person is leaving at just the right time because they are leaving an opening for this new person to come in. This new person is so secure and they are like really well balanced and they have money as well. And I see, you know, I see you at home and uh, taking care of your house and, you know, in uh, coming up in like the beginning of this month. You may have some housing projects, you know, you may do some spring cleaning or I don't know what you would call it, but you may be dealing with with the house. But, um, you know, perhaps getting it ready for a new lover to come. You get this four of cups though, which means it's you're kind of unhappy with 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 the how things are going and that you might be a little bit bored. But I think this person is going to be a really interesting friend. And uh, just the, the respect that they have for you is really, really special. And what they have to offer is you know, beyond, it's, it's beyond sex. It's, it's, it's somebody who you can talk to and who you can tell about your day and who you can, uh, who you can express yourself with and who you can be funny. And uh, so it seems, I wonder, I wonder who you're working with and if, if you're going to be, because it says, it says you're going to get some good stuff happening at work. I even wonder if this friendship is is at work. I wonder where where you're going to meet this this person and and if it's a crush that that turns into more. It, there's all kinds of interesting stuff. You may get some sort of a promotion, some sort of a bonus, something extra. You may get like a special assignment at work. It seems like what you do for a living, you're really good at it and it's hard to replace you. I think I think you have like some sort of a special project this month and uh, you may get accolades for it. People may like really go, oh my gosh, you did such a good job and and get some sort of a some sort of a bonus, some sort of a bonus. So yeah, I think this is interesting. This is somebody is definitely leaving your life right now and leaving this big opening for this new love to come in. And so I just wonder who, who are these people at work? You know, who, who are you meeting at work and who are you talking to? I see. I, I don't think that you might necessarily be getting into a relationship so much at, at the beginning or, you know, during this month. But I think you might start texting someone and you might start having some sort of a communication. And that's why, and that's why it's this friendship that builds because you guys are getting to know each other on more than a physical level. And so you may not be totally thrilled with how fast it goes 
and uh, but but I think you're going to be really busy at work, to be honest. And uh, so your love life is just going to be is just going. You're probably going to be texting him while he while you are at work. And uh, so yeah, enjoy your spring cleaning and enjoy this new love. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I hope that I hope that this messaging equals to a meeting in public soon. That's what we want. We want to meet people and we want them to be in our lives and to experience to experience love all around us in our environments. That's what we want. And so I see you messaging this person. So hopefully it will turn into more. But yeah, this other guy is definitely on its way out. And I think that that is such a great thing that you are definitely ending, ending something and, and you are clearing the way for something new and beautiful to come. All right, you guys. Thank you for joining the Fantastic Menagerie reading. And now we have the final reading, which is with the Happy Tarot. I'm going to take a sip of water. Before I begin to shuffle. So now I'm going to shuffle this deck. I like this deck. It's very, I guess you can say happy. I like the, col the colors and the images are, are very intuitive. So I hope you guys are enjoying your month and all the possibilities that it has. The, the weather is just getting better and better. And, and so I'm really hoping that everybody gets some time to experience outside and nature and to be able to commune with life. Okay. So let's see here. This is kind of interesting. This You may be talking to somebody. You may be in some sort of a relationship with somebody. Um, you get this Knight of Pentacles. So it could be, it could be a little bit long distance. You may be waiting to hear from them, um, but that might happen that might happen. You may be, you may be planning some sort of a rendezvous with, with somebody that you haven't seen, somebody that is, that is far away. I feel like, I feel like that there's somebody that, that you love very much. And, um, but you guys need to be closer together because you get this hanged man in your environment, which seems as if you are just separated from this person who means a lot and you are kind of stuck like experiencing who they are by their online messaging and you know seeing like what they're up to behind their back by when they're logging on to snapchat or whatever and and so and and so you really want to have someone in your life that that you can see on a regular basis and so you get the Empress and the Page of Cups. So this is just this beautiful new situation. I think this person, you know, I, I don't know. I, I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting. I think you need to talk to them and find a reason to go visit them. Because I think if you visit them, you're going to get a lot of questions answered and things may go really, really well. You get this two of cups, which is, you know, you, you have so much in common with this person and so much love, but you get this moon, which is, it's still unknown because you guys have to figure out the answers, which is, do you get along if you're in the same room? So I see that um, you get the the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. So again, a lot of people are getting like spring cleaning, dealing with stuff at home, being at home, taking care of things in the home, things breaking down and maybe having to pay for some stuff. 
but this is like opportunities at the home. This may be <laughs> people coming to try to sell you something, but I don't know. I think, I think this is also making plans with possibly seeing this person that is long distance that, that you want in your life. So you may be making some sort of a plan to fly out to see this person. I always advise to try to get them to come see you and try and try to arrange that. I would love, I would love to see these long distance relationships hook up and, and uh, pull together and pull into some sort of a, you know, where you guys can meet. I think, um, I think you may be scared of meeting and because what if it doesn't work out and what if, what if you don't like the person and what if, what if, what if, and, and so you may be putting off this meeting, but I think you really got to check it out because you know, you, you love the person and, and you got to really find out if the chemistry is there and, and be honest about the connection. And, uh, you know, a lot of times we can have these online romances. And then once we meet the person, we just realize, whoops, that wasn't what we wanted. And so I just advise that you make these plans to see this person. And so I don't know. I wonder if this month is going to be a good month for you to, to meet, to meet this person that, that you're waiting to meet. And, and so, you know, they're showing up as the magician and, uh, and so I think this person is showing you the best side of them. And, uh, and so you are waiting to see who they really are and waiting to see if they are everything that you imagine they can be. And uh, because I think, I think you are seeing, um, a side of them that, that is idealized, you know, it's not exactly who they are because you, you don't see, you know, how they are at home and angry and upset, or, you know, you only see them like on a limited, a limited basis. So, um, now also these cards, these cards can indi indicate getting a job or like job opportunities and stuff like that. So if you are looking for a job, there may be some, some job opportunities that become available at the end of the month if, if that is your situation. But, you know, it's also dating. You know, this is, this is my dating and meeting many people card, but I think this is also an opportunity to meet this person that is long distance in your life. Oh, I hope you meet them. I hope you meet them. It looks like that, that you want to rely on this person and that you want to have this love in your life. And I think, I think you deserve it. I think you deserve to have the best love in your life. And so you should put yourself out there and, or try to get the person to come visit you. You know, i you know, if I try, try to see, try to see or, or meet up at a, at a place that, you know, that you guys can, can, uh, you know, both visit and both enjoy, you know, see that trip, go, go and enjoy and enjoy. And, uh, you know, I see you kind of waiting and this person may be putting it off. And, uh, and so, you know, and, and you may be scared to piss them off by saying, Hey, I really want to see you, but they may have some sort of a windfall of money that allows them to take a visit. So I would put yourself out there and, um, I don't know, try to see this person because communicating and texting isn't enough. You got to really like see them moving around or else, or else you're just going to be in the dark. So thank you so much for checking in on my monthly reading and yeah, check out my link tree in the comments for all of my links and, uh, and for my love manifestation exercise and my work manifestation exercise. And thank you so much for, for all of your support. Take care and have a great day.